me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come around no invaders them. It's your boy Noto, coming to another video Coming to another podcast, man In today's podcast, we're gonna discuss body game You become irresistible to women if you're new here or you already been here, go ahead and click that like button, go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this topic, guys. Guys, yep, it's another body game video, guys. And I'm going to push it to the, end of, to the end of time, man, because it just, every day, every single day, it just reminds me and shows me that women cannot resist a man that is muscular. A man with muscles, and they cannot resist a body. And it's crazy because the main guys that are sitting here trying to say that, oh, women don't like muscular men, women don't like muscles and all that, and it's in plain sight, it just looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. I go through this on a daily basis. On a daily basis, it's, it's constantly proven to me that they can't resist. Not let alone all the content that's online. I, I guess they think that's fabricated. I don't know if these guys think that it's staged, but when you go and look at all these videos, just type into YouTube women going crazy over muscular men. And you'll see it. Women going crazy over ripped men. R women reacting to muscular men. And you'll see everything you need to see there. That is not staged. That is not staged. Now the guys they'll be in delusion and they want to be in denial. Because they don't want to put in the work that it takes to get a physique like that that stands out. I understand that. But you're irresistible to women. I noticed that. Earlier today, I was looking. I walked through this little observatory. I don't know if it was an observatory or whatever. It's like a little knowledge visitor's center like for knowledge for whatever we are at the park or whatever. So I went to go look at this screen. And it was showcasing the different locations in the park with throughout the park. And, you know, it was like a little video type screen, right? So adjacent to me was this chick she was sitting down and she was talking to the um she was talking to her, her boyfriend she was just hugging him and they were just kissing before that and she went to go sit down because she looked like she was tired right so he stood up in front of her and he stood up in front of her and started talking to her she ended up when i walked up to the screen she ended up looking over to the side like and like to the point she ended up getting stuck and just started staring at me this i had this on just started staring at me the whole time and like when he tried to like talk to her and kind of moving away she trying to she kind of moved him over to the side almost like shooing him to the side i was like bro she is hard bro she was just kissing this man so i know that's a dude this ain't no little brother or nothing none, none of that like that so bro like she literally gave zero fucks guys like i'm telling you they she literally gave zero i'm talking about she literally is when she went off to the side like that she she veered over like that and the more he tried to get in the way the more she kept coming over she damn that got to the edge of that bench trying to veer over and she got to the point where she started just moving him out the way and he was wondering what the hell she was looking at he ain't even necessarily look look back either she was just over there and just looking at me i'm like brother do some dude know what's going on right now i'm looking over there but i'm trying not to like catch eye contact because i, I, I like to be respectful guys i like to be respectful i don't want to sit there and try to stare at it stare at another guy's chick while he right there and I, I i ain't trying to be on all that you know if a chick is single and you know i don't see her with no dude nothing like that she giving me eye contact she giving me that type of energy yeah you know I'll, I'll um i'll indulge but in that situation that ain't nothing but a whole thing waiting to happen some shit starting waiting to happen but the way she was bold with it and then she started licking her lips i was like man i, I had to walk i had to go in and walk off bro i had to walk off because it was getting hectic and it was like that was blatant disrespect in regards to him I'm, it, it almost seemed like dude was just oblivious to that just straight up oblivious and after i left there i went to this spot it's like a, it's almost like a fast food joint somewhat but it's in the park it's almost like a fast food joint they serve like fries and burgers and you know philly cheese sticks and all that stuff like it's all that garbage but I ain't gonna just call it garbage because I, I like to eat it like probably once a week, at once every two weeks, something, something like that. It ain't so bad. But today, of course, it's not conducive to what I'm trying to do because I'm cutting down. So I was in there and I saw my homegirl. Like she a stud. One of the stud I told you about in one of my older videos that when I was telling you about the girl that was trying to talk to the other dude in front of me, well, talk to her to make me jealous. Yeah. It was that it was that same girl. But she she cool though. So yeah, I wanted to go talk to her. She was waiting on her order, right? 
it was these white women sitting across like i don't know if it was like a motorcycle game type deal but i went i walked over there and it was like two of them facing me but the dudes was facing them talking to them and like soon as she looked up and got a glimpse at me bro like it never stopped like every few words she was just looking up at me looking up at me like glancing at me glancing at me see the thing is i'm not treating every woman that look at me like oh was a chooser saying oh she want me and this and that i'm not taking it far further than i think i i actually observe from different angles i, I look and see how many times it happens and all that i make sure it's a chooser saying. so if it's something like that and it's happened repeatedly I'm not saying because because my brother used to do that. Every every girl that used to look at him, he would think that they wanted him. Like he he was he used to get like I'm like damn, a girl can't even look at you without you thinking they want them, you know. But me, in order to get past all that, in order to make sure, I make sure it happens on a repeated basis. And this was happening repeatedly, repeatedly staring, like repeatedly her and the friend next to her, repeatedly staring. So I'm looking like, bro, here we go again. Like it, it gets to the point where because you know what's going on at this point. Like I'm aware of it now. I'm not oblivious anymore. So now I can see the dynamics that's going on. She's sitting right in front of these dudes. I know that and I know they're dating these dudes. Got the way they seem possessive and the way they walked in, the way they was holding them as they was waiting in line and stuff like that. So I saw all that as well. So the whole time he talking to her, every few words she looking up at me like I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Women cannot really resist a body, bro. You are irresistible. You practice a body game to women, guys. Like I said before, and on top of that, it was some other women in there staring too. But um, it was another chick I walked past, and she was just looking up like real. But she tried to break eye contact, and she was sitting in front of her man too. But I was walking through. Like I was, like I say, I wasn't trying to do the most. I looked at her, but I wasn't trying to, you know, indulge. But like the cougars is like that's one thing too. Cougars is like. I don't. I think I got like a extra powerful magnetic force for cougars, bro. If they is just on me, bro. <laughs> it's not even that. Even the younger women too, because like to be honest, like I, I don't. They really like my face. They really like. I always get compliments on my eyes. They always talk about I got girl eyes. One chick said I had a button nose, cute. You, know, you never know what a woman is looking at on your body as well. But of course, my body plays into it. But you know, once they get past that and start looking at you up close, they start noticing all that. You know, no chick said she like my gap. One chick said she like my chin. One chick said she like my ear. Like it was just, but you just never know what they're looking at, bro. You never know what they're checking out. But I'm just saying, bro. Like when you're working out, bro, you are going to be irresistible, guys. They can't help that. It's just like when you see a thick ass chick, bro. She got them yoga pants on in the gym. And you just see that ass jumping. You see, you see the breast just jumping or moving. Or they just turn you on. They look hard. You know, you uh, she her nipples hard or something. You see that, you know, or whatever, man. Like, bro, you, you looking at that? You looking like, damn, bro. I'm like, you know, like it make you feel some type of way. It move you, don't it? It move you. You know, it move you. I'm like, damn, I want to hit this shit, man. That's how. I, that's how I move them. That's how it move them, guys. Cause every time I be in the gym, like. Shoot, chicks always try to actively put themselves in my path, actively do exercises in front of me, actively try to come around while I'm working out at. And I told y'all this in many videos, bro. They always do that. When you go into a spot and this shit always happening, you start seeing like, bro, the same signs. And a lot of the women do a lot of the things in the shoes and sandals the same way. And the nervous energy of the brush and the hair, they all do that the same way. They have different variations of it, of course, but it's all along the same plane. And just like I said, like, uh, instead of trying to use a Ferrari to, um, or a Lamborghini to, uh, uh, boost your looks or nothing like that, why don't you just be a Ferrari, be a Lamborghini, whatever you put on, you're going to be that. No matter what you put on, you're going to look good in it. When you fit, you look good in just about anything. As long as it's fitting your body. So no matter what you paint job, you put on a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, it's still going to look good. It's still going to stand out. You think out of all them cars, and the reason I make that comparison because out of all the cars on the road, hundreds and hundreds and three hundreds and thousands of cars on the road, you're going to see that Lamborghini out of all them other cars. Even if all the cars got new makes or this year's newest make or whatever, a Lamborghini, an old Lamborghini will still stand out before all that. That's what I'm saying. You still going to stick out like that. That's how fit people stick out in the real world. And that's just, that's seriously. That, that, that is serious. You go in the mall, out of every 100 to 200 people, you probably like, you find like two or three fit people like that are above average level physique. Honestly. And elite level physique, like that, that's even more rare. You got the cuts and you and you getting ripped and you got the abs and all that. That's even much more rare. 
not saying that is anything is better than other because women do like different body types but i will say that since i've cutting down it's more of a it's more of an attention grabber because the more cuts they see the more you know the more the more people see the more attracted they become it's almost like having two diamonds right they're re- they're, they're both diamonds they're both the same type of diamond but one is just shiny and one is just dull but they're the same material the same make or whatever one just shiny and one just dull they're both still diamonds and the difference with the dull one is that you just have a little higher body fat percentage but the one with the shiny one you just work more cut and ripped more people are going to be more drawn to that but they're still going to see that this other diamond is still a real diamond it's just not as bright as this one and not saying that any diamond is better than the other they're still diamonds you see what i'm saying but you know i had to make a bunch of comparisons and i remember earlier actually it wasn't earlier it was the uh, it was the uh, yesterday i believe yesterday or the day before yesterday don't quote me on that one one or the other it was this guy sitting in it. I don't know what it was. It looked like a um, some type of sports car. I forgot what it was. And it was one old school mobile sitting over there. It was an old white couple, and it was and it was an old uh, other white couple like sitting over there. When I walked past, I had my stringer on. Remember that green stringer I, I, that I did that other video on? And I said, um, um, "What being a common attractive man taught me about women." That stringer, that army fatigue stringer that I had on. Um, I had that on. I walked past, and they was breaking their necks inside the sports car. So that's what made me make that make that thing be the Ferrari. Don't just try to hop in the Ferrari because they was in they they was inside the car looking like this, looking like looking out at this. They was in like an old I want to say Oldsmobile. It was some it was an old classic looking car. You you'll see like something that I used to drive back in the day. Something you'll see on the movie Life or something or whatever. You know one of them old school. You you know what I'm talking about old old school but vintage. It was one like that, and it was one in a sports car. It was an old white couple over here, old white couple over there. But the way they looked over, I'm like, y'all in these high price, like, I'm talking about attention grabber cars. Everybody stopping by trying to take pictures in front of the car and all that. But they inside their cars looking at me. They women looking at me. It was this older lady, older cougar. And I could tell, like, you could tell, like, the cougars that look, that you know that was real bad back in the day when they was, when they was younger. But she still looked good. She was in good shape, and I could tell that she was the work. I got a plate, something. She was walking like I caught her walking when I was walking on a um. It was like a pathway, like a little trail, and she was walking by her husband. She looked over and she was like, and she started smiling like I was, I'm talking. About, I seen all 32, and she just looking like, and she was like, like you know, like almost like it was just too hot for her, right? I seen that. My husband saw that, and he would he just he just looked like he just started mugging. I was like, oh my god, man, this shit be happening. And then when I came back from the trail, they were sitting on this little balcony area. So you can oversee everybody that's walking up. So I was walking again and she looked up. And as soon as he saw me, he looked right at her and she was looking dead at me, smiling. And then she just leaned on his shoulder and I was like smiling. I'm like, uh, like, and you can see the sigh in her, like in her demeanor. She did the little, you know, the little uh, sigh. I was like, oh my God. This guy started mugging me to death at that point. Bro, if like his eyes were daggers, bro, I would be like stabbed, bro. I would have been gotten. Seriously, bro. But I'm telling you, you are irresistible, guys. Even in front of their man, you were irresistible. They would try to force themselves not to look at you. And, and them forcing themselves not to look at you, not saying that you want them to look at you, not saying that you you like, oh, you got to look at me, you know. And no, you ain't doing none of that. But the fact that they have to force themselves to look at you, they're acknowledging you by forcing themselves to look away because they know that you're something that is considered hot. It is. And they're trying to stop themselves from looking over one because they're trying to have respect for their man. And they know that they, they probably know their man is insecure as well. That's why a lot of times when you walk past a couple and the man holding his girl's hand, but he'll look down and while you walk away until you look. And I've seen it. And I was like, damn, he really looking down. But I turn around and see when I pass by him, he, he put his head up. And it happens a lot. That happens a lot. So a lot of these guys are insecure with their women. And they women know they're insecure. So out of respect for them and in order to not set him off or make him feel uncomfortable, by they'll they'll act like you ain't there. But they know you there. And they and they they know damn well what, what kind of effect you got. But I'm just saying right now, you're irresistible, guys. So whenever you see a woman, bro, whenever you see women, bro, just know you got an above average level of seat, you irresistible woman. That gives you a multitude of options, bro. Keep hitting that gym, guys. Don't let nobody stop you. Stay in there, bro. Keep doing it. We don't want to be average. We are going to be great achievers. We are unapologetically jacked. 
we showing all the muscle we showing all the skin we want to we gonna wear the tight shirts we gonna wear the tight compressors we gonna show off showcase our physique we gonna showcase the gains and hard work we putting into the gym the sacrifices we making with the diet the discipline that we're upholding to keep consistency with this don't let nobody dumb you down Ain't nobody, don't let nobody say that, oh, what you doing is bad or, or none of, nah. Don't let nobody take that away from you. But anyway, it's your boy Noto coming to you another video, coming to you another podcast, man. If you enjoy the content, go and click that like button, go and comment, go and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video. Remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves, they want to work at it. I'm out. I'm chillin', I really ain't worried about niggas I promise I keep it a cool and a Even though niggas be looking and soundin' like me That boy Morris said I'm not the father Well, I'm a dog, get vicious when I'm irritated I might need a shock on my collar Don't got a filter, just keep it straightforward I play my position, Andre Iguodala Ain't no exposing me, I get a D hit or ovary Don't even go down that road with me And if a chicken obsessed, I don't need it I want that Miss Parker with Professor Ogilvy Bitch ain't no testing me, none of these bitches be stressing me Capping like they got the best of me If she go off and get with another man Really, she still gon' be thinking about sex me Done with these bitches, let's get to this paper One piece of the pie, sell out on the mirror Chasing that money, Coyote wrote runner ain't doing no talking just like Tom and Jerry Ain't need no beef for no drama It won't make no money to me It's just unnecessary But if I'm pushing I'm gonna have to crash out on a nigga And then I'ma call up as Gary